The very first thing I have here is that men operate on a need to know basis. On your first date, don't ever ask a guy, do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a wife? All right, let's, I mean, let's assume, let's assume that most guys that you're gonna go out on a date with, they're good guys, they're genuine guys, because I'm, I'm assuming that the type of guy you're gonna go out on a date with has the type of energy that you have. That's my first assumption. But I'm also assuming that there are some guys who wanna play the game, right? They wanna play the I already have a good situation game or I have a girl I'm dealing with or whatever, and they wanna see what else they can get. So if you, if you come across that situation, what can happen is you can internalize it and you can be like, oh damn, well, I didn't know he had a wife, right? That exists, right? There's guys that do that and there's women that do that. Most guys, and here's the reason why most guys will not openly come out and say it. Most guys will not openly come out and say it because they're scared that if they're honest or real or they say, hey, here's what's going on, it's gonna scare the woman away. Because most men think all women want committed relationships, they wanna get married right away and, and be together in that facet. But we, we know that's not true. Some women are just looking for someone they can be around consistently and they, are, they don't want something serious, right? Some women wanna just play the game too. But the main reason why a guy is not so willing to be honest about his situation is because he's scared if he's completely honest He'll push the girl away so you have to you have to know this when you go into a date like he does not want to push you away the very the last thing he wants to do is push you away so the tactic I'm about to give you is to safeguard yourself as a woman to make sure that on that first date that first interaction you are asking a very important question so you can get the information you need because like I say most guys operate on a need-to-know basis we're not gonna tell you more information than we feel like you need to know. So as a woman, your job is to figure out how do I get more information out of them without telling them, hey, my goal is to get more information out of you. Like, how do I do that in a tactful, smart way? So this is what you do, this is what you say. You guys are gonna get to a point of the date where you're asking questions. Never ask a guy a closed-ended question. You know, Don't ask yes or no. What you want to do is you want to get the guy to talk. You want to get him to explain. You want to get him to describe. Ask him this. I'm very curious to know about your dating situation. Tell me what's going on in your life. What's your dating situation? And I'm not here to judge. Just, just let me know. I'm very, very curious. There's two key things that this will do for you. One, you're asking an open-ended question by saying, tell me more about your dating situation. And then the second thing that you're doing is you're saying, you're letting him know that it's safe for him to hit you with whatever the situation is. Because you're saying, hey, I'm not here to judge. Just tell me about it. You're, so you're making it light. Whereas most women, when they do it, they're doing it like a freaking FBI. So are you married? Do you have a girlfriend? Like they're so intense about it that it makes guys not want to talk about it. So what you wanna do is you wanna find out because he could've just been in a seven year relationship and just got out two months ago. Now you know he may not be mentally, emotionally stable to you know, be in a relationship. Now you know it may take him a little bit of, of healing and get to know himself. So I believe this is a question you have to ask. Now this is something that I understood because I grew, because I, I became a man, right? I've dated as a boy, I've dated as a man. There's different, there's different mindsets. A successful man will leave easier. A successful man will leave easier. Now let's talk about this. When we're younger, right? When we're less secure in who we are, when we're less aware of what we want, when we're less aware of the type of relationship we want, when we are less aware of the type of woman we deserve, we will stay much longer. We will stay because we are more insecure, because we are unsure, because we are not confident, because we don't have direction in our life. But when you get 
a man who knows what type of woman he wants, when you find a man who knows what type of life he wants, who knows what type of family he wants to create, he won't settle for just any type of woman. He won't settle for just any type of treatment. He won't just stay around and get nagged, used, abused. A successful man, and let's maybe we should talk about the word successful. Most successful men are men that do have more confidence than the rest. Men that are more financially stable and secure than the rest. Men that are much more appealing physically than the others, than the average man. Men that are most likely managers, uh, business owners, you know, men who have higher education than some with lower. Look, I mean, you gotta take, you know, there's plenty of sexual people who don't look good, who didn't go to school, but take this for what it's worth, right? Obviously, everybody can define success the way they want, but most successful men, especially men who make money, men who are more financially secure, they're not going to settle for anything. Here's the reason why. No matter what people want to say, we know reality. Most women would prefer to be with a man who is more well off financially than one who is not, right? It doesn't make her shallow at all, right? It doesn't make a woman shallow. Having financial prowess represents ability. It represents skill. It represents drive. It represents ambition. It represents a lot of great qualities, right? You know, a guy who built, you know, a business, he worked hard, he grinded, he was committed, he was uh, patient. I mean, these are great qualities. Why wouldn't a woman want those type of qualities in a man? So we can't sit here and shame a woman who would want to be with a guy who is financially secure. As a matter of fact, I'm not about to uh, tell my daughter to always go after the guys who are committed to the struggle. No, he's he's always committed to the struggle. So was I committed to the struggle at one point in my life? Absolutely. But I was young, I was dumb, I was immature, and I was trying to find myself. There's nothing wrong with that, nothing at all. But here's what we gotta realize. When you're young, dumb, and immature, and committed to the struggle, what type of relationships are you gonna have? What type of relationships are you going to create? And in turn, what type of energy are you gonna bring to you? So it's very important that you gotta remember a successful man will always leave a situation that does not yield the highest results because men who are successful often look at their relationships like business. Are we yielding the best results? Are we positive or negative every quarter, or every year, or every month over month, or week over week? This is how successful men look at relationships, right? Wow, we were together for 12 months, 10 months out the year was really good. We had two rough months. He's gonna stay in that relationship because the positives outweigh the negative. So if you wanna be with a successful man, a man who, you know, all that stuff we just talked about who takes care of himself it's very important that you have the energy and life to meet him at that level all right you want to meet him there i'm not saying you you need to make as much money you need to look as good i'm not saying that i'm just saying if you want because when i talk to women this is what they always say they always say they want to be with some successful guy who's nice who's loyal who you know this is what they always say women always say they want a successful guy so if you want a successful guy, you're going to have to be the type of woman who can take his success and build him up and help him build it up, help him enhance it. Not necessarily directly. Maybe you're not involved in the business or maybe you're not going to work. But when he comes home, he's an architect and he comes home and you're not talking to him about his designs that day. You're not talking about the new computer programs that he got. That's not helping him build up. That's the type of woman that's going to get left. But the type of woman that's like, hey, baby, tell me about the, the designs. Did you get the project in Washington? Did you get any new computer programmers? Do you have anybody else on your team? Tell men are directly connected to their work. We love our work. Our, we find a sense of identity in our work. 
so for a lot of us, especially successful men, we are going to love a woman who supports our work, who believes in our work, and who validates our efforts to find our identity in our work, and who validates and confirms that we are a man to her because she's proud of us, because she cares about our work and about the efforts we're making. And that's not even, you know, that's not even just the top end doctor or principal. That's anyone. That's the artist that has a, a mixtape. Uh, uh, that's the artist who paints. That's any man. Men are wired like that. When we have a woman who supports us, you could be a coffee maker. You could be a, a, a coffee maker and you, you take pride in making good coffee, good tea. But when your woman shows that love and that support to your craft, it's over. You're not leaving that woman. Maybe you work at Best Buy, but in your heart, you're a piano player. Your guy, you know, he's a piano player. Go up to him and just say, baby, write me a song. Write a song about how you feel. Write a song about working at Best Buy. Encourage him to do his passions. Encourage him to build inside of his business, inside of his career. Because when you do that, it, especially for a man who cares about his career, who cares about his job, who cares about his finances, it makes him see that logically you are the best for him. This is why this is so important. So always remember, a successful man is more willing to leave a situation that's not good, that's not, that's not toxic. So don't bring consistent bad energy because he will leave. When he's not a successful, he'll hold on because he doesn't know himself yet. So he will hold on to something that doesn't feel good. When he is more successful, he will leave because he knows what he deserves and he's not going to settle for less. All right, the third thing here, ladies. Ladies date with emotions. How does it make you feel? This He makes me feel this way. He makes me feel this way. I made, I felt that way. The date made me feel, that's how women date. Listen, listen to how women talk. They always talk about their feelings. Men don't date that way at all. The very first thing that goes through our head when we see a woman is, I'm attracted to her. That's where dating starts for us. I am physically attracted to her, which is connected to years of evolution of we want to create in order to create a new human, you need to be sexually aroused. So for men, we see a woman, the very first thing is I'm attracted to her. And once we see that I'm attracted to her, I think she's hot, then we're willing to try to date from there, right? So then, okay, I'm attracted to her. Now the second thing is, now we're, now we're talking about, you know, a conscious, aware, evolved, intelligent, intellectual man. These are the type of men we're talking about right now. Now, that man wants to know what type of value does she bring? Is she funny? You know, is she entertaining? Is she smart? Can she hold a conversation, right? That's the next step. So now, boom, okay, let's figure out. We go out on a date, we talk on the phone, or maybe we text, or all three, which, which all three should be happening. For him, love for a man is the same, it, it's a business thing. It's the same way we look at business. Love for a man is, a, is logical. Yeah, there's the emotion like, oh my God, I love her, I, you know, but it's, Logical. See, just the feeling of loving someone is not enough for a man. It has to be a logical thing. Does she fit into my life? And do I fit into her life? Like, are we able to build together? Or is it just, oh, I just love her and that's it. We can't be together. We can't build together. We don't compliment each other enough. And I'm talking about the good man that ladies claim they look for, the successful man, the man who are worth, you know, getting to know and bring, bringing value to and building with and eventually creating a family with. Man, we look at relationships in a logical way. Everything, we have feelings, we have emotions, but we've been conditioned by our parents and their parents to be logical in our processes. So you gotta think about it. 
You gotta think about relationships. To really understand men, you gotta think about relationships the way a man is gonna think about it. Just like a smart man is going to think about relationships the way his woman is gonna think about it. From an emotional standpoint, how does the relationship make her feel? Once, as a guy, when, you, when you're like, okay, it makes her feel this, when I do this, she feels this, but you figure it out. But that's a logical process for us. So as a lady, as a woman, remove yourself from your emotions, open your third eye, observe everything, and then you can see my man is looking logically at everything. What is he thinking when I do this? What does he think when I do this? What does he think when I do this? Boom, 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 boom. You get the answer. Everything changes once you do that. All right, those are my three things for you guys. Real quick, summary. Let me see what I got here. <laughs> Man operate on a, uh, you know, what needs to be known type of basis. So make sure you're asking open-ended questions. Number two, I got a, a successful man will leave easier. I gave you the reasons why that's important. And then number three, I have men date logically, right? And women date with emotions. With that, I'm out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I want you guys to get in the comments below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think, what you agree with, don't disagree with, what strategies you're going to take, what has worked for you, what you think will work for other people. Leave your success story below. All right. Keep loving. Keep living. Peace.